G'day guys, Holy Critic here, signing in with quick reviews. In today's episode, I'm looking at the TV adaptation of Elmore Leonard's novel, Gold Coast. It's directed by none other than Robocop himself, Peter Weller, in his first and only movie to date. It's a seedy crime drama that doesn't shy away from the sex, violence and profanity, so fair warning if you plan on watching it for yourself. So, from minute one, the movie has no problems whatsoever throwing you right in the thick of the action. There's a chaotic sequence of events involving an armed robbery at a golf club and, how should I say this, uh, a post-coital death of a rather excited older gentleman. Suffice to say, I was immediately lost, but as the plot progressed, I slowly started making sense of it. Frank DeCilia is the man lying dead on the floor, and he's the rich, philandering husband of long-suffering wife Karen, played by Marge Helgenberger. She's deeply relieved at the prospect of his passing, but acquiring his multi-million dollar estate is not going to be easy. To access his inheritance, she must remain a widow for life, as stipulated in his will. Sheesh, talk about mean-spirited. But even more bizarrely, Frank's loyal attorney goes as far as to hire a bodyguard by the name of Roland to make sure she upholds her end of the deal. And it's all doom and gloom until David Caruso comes knocking. He plays Maguire, a former associate of Frank's who's looking for money owed from the earlier robbery. And of course, desperately lonely Karen can't resist his allure. She instantly falls head over heels for him, which sets in motion a dangerous game. Roland has his own nefarious agenda, and this affair is all the ammunition he needs to extort her. I found myself growing to enjoy Gold Coast the longer I watched it. It evolved into an engaging story of forbidden love with complex and well-developed characters. This may be a rare case of wrong first impressions, although does highlight the problems with TV adaptations. You simply can't squeeze all that subtext from the original novel into 90 minutes and expect a good result. I found myself constantly picking apart all the plot holes and impossibilities, which did detract from my viewing experience. For that reason, I've only given Gold Coast a final rating of 2 Halos out of 5. It airs on Saturday at 12pm Eastern Time, so make sure you pop in and check it out. But just remember that some of the scenes will be offensive to sensitive viewers, so please keep that in mind. Alright guys, thanks for watching yet another episode of Quick Reviews, and don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked it. And just before you go, please tell me in the comments what types of movies you'd like to see more of. Have a think about it, and I'll see you again next time. This is Holy Critic, signing out.